Good morning and happy Tuesday, Jays. I'm Leah Rainwater. I'm Brady Mayer. And, and this, this is KLHS. KLHS. Let's go ahead and start off with some announcements. As it is court warming week, the dance is this Saturday, January 18th, and we have Spirit Week. Today is band t-shirt day, and I've enjoyed seeing everyone get into the spirit of court warming. Tomorrow will be flannel versus denim. Thursday is future plans day, and Friday is blackout. Don't forget to dress up, Jays. Also, we have some pretty awesome students on court. Your top eight King nominees are... Ben Jones. Will Swetnam. Tate Harvey. Tyler Bowles. Michael Book. And Jaden Hayes. Your top seven Queen nominees are... Colby Kelly. Lauren Hillman. Jillian Fleming. Olivia Nelson. Benefa Jarman. Abby Watts. And Caroline Wright. Voting is open and ends today. We will get the chance to find out the top three candidates Friday during our assembly and later on that night at the boys varsity basketball game. The king and queen will be announced. I think all of this sounds wonderful, Folia. Why don't we head on over to Brody to see how the weather is going to be for Coroming this weekend after this short break. Good morning, Jays. I'm Brody Mueller, and I hope you're all having a great Tuesday. The high will today will be a high of 47 and a low of 39, with cloudy skies all day. There is a chance of rain this afternoon, starting at 6, going all the way until midnight. Wednesday will be partly cloudy skies with strong winds and a high of 43 and a low of 16. Thursday will be about the same with partly cloudy skies with a high of 32 and a low of 25. Last but not least, the chance of ice on Friday is now a chance of snow. I don't know whether to keep my fingers crossed for a pencil a possible snow day or with this weather away so the courtrooming dance and assembly can be continued. Leah, Brady, what are you hoping for this Friday? Thank you Brody for that great weather announcement. I'm hoping that the snow and ice will hold up for this pretty eventful weekend. I on the other hand am hoping for a snow day. <laughs> Continuing on into announcements, enrollment for the 2020-2021 school year is in place. Of course it is, Leah. It is that time of year, and unlike some lucky souls, I still have to partake in the enrollment process for next year. But when it comes to enrollment, nothing should be more intriguing than beginners broadcasting. No matter what grade you're in, we encourage you to join the KLHS family. Beginners broadcasting also counts as a practical art credit, so if you need one, then I would highly encourage taking beginners broadcasting. Also, if you would like to be considered for yearbook photography or yearbook staff, please go to the Liberty High School website, click Academics, Yearbook, and fill out the application. The selection process is starting soon, so make sure to get those applications in as soon as possible. Brady, have you heard about the upcoming winter show that our theater department is putting on? No, I have not, Leah, but I would certainly like to learn more about it. All right, well, let's head on over to Hannah Atkins, Alex Cronin, and Jeffrey Lobster to find out more about the winter show. The theater department at Liberty High School has a wide array of shows throughout the year. The winter shows are taking place right now, and the drama, I Never Saw Another Butterfly, is soon going to be performed on stage. There's a lot that takes place behind the scenes in order for the show to become successful. Um, okay, so I'm the student director, and that takes a lot of responsibility, especially on a student, to make sure that um, the people on stage are where they need to be, especially during s specific scenes. You have to know where you're going to be, what makes the most sense, how they're going to get from one place to the other. So the director is basically supposed to get as much emotion out of the characters as they can and put them where they're supposed to be. So I'm the assistant director for the winter show. I never saw another butterfly, and my job is to make sure that the director's vision, Mr. Johnson's vision, and Alex's vision as the student director is carried through. So that means it's carried through the technical elements, through the acting, um, and just make sure that it is seamless all the way through. I never saw another butterfly as a script depicting the tragedy that the Holocaust had left behind on a wide array of people. 
brief, but the show is basically about a girl named Raja, and she's lost her entire family, basically. Um, and she's basically trying to figure out how to live life in a happy way, or just kind of look at things in a positive light, because not everything has necessarily gone her way, and so she's really just trying to figure out how to move forward. Uh, and the overall thematic message, I would say, is that of hope, uh, that there is hope. In our darkest times, there is hope. Not only do the cast and crew members work during the rehearsals, but the students involved in the stagecraft class also work hard to put together the set. Um, the process for these students is Mr. Johnson will come up with a design. I'll help support him with that design. Um, Mr. Turpin will also probably help with some of that design um, since he also teaches stagecraft. And then our stagecraft classes will take full ownership of that and they build everything from start to finish and they'll take it down at the end of the show as well. Students and staff at Liberty High School are encouraged to watch this play on February 13th, 14th, and 15th at Liberty High School's Little Theater at 7 p.m. Staff and students can purchase tickets on the Liberty High School website. For KLHS, this has been Hannah Atkins, Alex Cronin, and Jeffrey Lobsher. Thank you guys for that wonderful insight. I can't wait to see the show this time next month. Continuing on, the 2020 intramural basketball season is fast approaching and will begin this Friday and will last through early March. Teams will consist of three to six people, and the games will be on Friday mornings at 7, 10 a.m. Please email Andy Morris or stop by room 110 to sign up for the season. Each participating team will need a name and a list of all the players on the team. The sign-up deadline is tomorrow, so be sure to sign up. Continuing on, the AP Bio students are organizing the annual Community Blood Center Blood Drive, and it will be Friday, February 7th, in Coakley Gym, gym from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you would like to donate blood, please find an AP student or staff member. All right, I think we should take a break from all of the announcements and head on over to Thomas and John giving us an update on what's going on in the sports world. Thank you, Leo. What's up, Jays? We have a lot to cover in the sports world today, so let's get right into it. And starting off with last night's college football playoff final, the LSU Tigers defeated the defending champion Clemson Tigers with a score of 42-25. Heisman Trophy winner Joe Burrow led the charge for Ed Ogeron's Tigers as he threw for six passing touchdowns, ultimately breaking the NCAA record for most individual passing touchdowns in a season. Burrow is expected to be the number one pick in the upcoming NFL draft, so it will be interesting to see what he can do at the next level. Yeah, hopefully he can save the Cincinnati Bengals from all of their hardships in these yeah, past uh, basically decade. Uh, but moving on to our Lady Jays basketball team as they stayed undefeated last night, taking down Truman at home with a score of 41-26. to The win over the Patriots ultimately improves our girls team to 11-0 on the season and 3-0 in the conference season. And then moving forward to tonight, our boys team will look to follow in the path of our girls team as they will also take on Truman on the road. They are coming off of a 47-41 loss at Park Hill South on Friday night, so hopefully they can bounce back with a big win away from home. And now over to our men's wrestling as our top-ranked team will have a duel tonight at home against Staley at 6 p.m. Both our men's and women's basketball teams defeated Staley last week, so hopefully our wrestlers will look to keep that winning momentum going tonight. Now we'll head over to Amber Mears, who is standing by with Wintrick Williams going over tonight's matchup. What's good, Jays? Here I am with one of the wrestlers on our wrestling team, Wintrick Williams. Wintrick, I know you have an important duel tonight. Can you tell me who it's against and what time? Staley, 6 o'clock in the field house. And I know you guys are ranked first right now. Can you tell me what you think has led to the success this season? Uh, basically our hard work, uh, dedication to the sport. Uh, we practice six days a week and uh, just we focus on us. We don't worry about anybody else. So you're the one going up against the three tonight. Do you have any nerves for this duel? And if so, why? Uh, no, we just, we think go out there, uh, control the match, do our, you know, our stuff. We just do us. Don't worry about the opponent. Well, when Trick, good luck tonight and good luck on the rest of your season. This has been Amber Mears reporting for KLHS. And finally, our girls swim and dive team has a meet today at 430 at the Community Center. So best of luck to our girls. And that's all we have for you guys today. Let's toss it over to the one and only Jack Barreca for Tabloid Tuesday. Hey, what's good, Jays? I'm Jack Barreca, and today's Tuesday, meaning it's Tabloid Tuesday. Starting off, Jonas Brothers have announced they're back for real. After releasing an album last year, they have announced they're releasing a new single sometime soon. Next in the news, surprisingly, I'm the biggest fan of The Bachelor. And let me say, Hannah Ann and this drama with Kelsey is just so intense and riveting, I cannot wait to see what happens next week. And lastly, LSU's quarterback Joe Burrow, after winning the national championship, was caught smoking a cigar and had a lot of negative backlash for doing so. For KLHS, I'm Jack Brecka. We'll be back after this commercial break.
Thank you, Jack, for those tabloids. Now, if everyone could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. From KOHS, this has been Thomas Hand, John Alvey, Brody Mueller, and the rest of our amazing production crew. I'm Brady Mayer. And I'm Leah Rainwater. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday Jays. Jays.